Hello, viewers. Welcome back to my channel. Be that so with Andy. My name is Andy Afolabi. Today's tutorial is going to be how to stone a dress. This is the bubu dress I just made. If you find it so boring and you want to add a touch, a spice to it, what do you do about it? So I want to add a stone. And I'm going to use the paper stone. Is what I'm going to use. So let's get started. So to do this, I've cut my paper stone into pieces and I've um, plugged in my steam iron and I've set it on the automatic setting. That is what I use. I put it on auto. I put it on auto and I've put uh, water in the water tank so and i put the setting in the maximum heat so i need my tailor ham this is my tailor ham i need my tailor ham because i don't want to start stoning while the front and back um panel is joined together so i'm going to use my tailor ham to separate the front and back so this is the sleeve side i'm going to insert my i'm going to insert my tailor ham i think i'll need a smaller size i'm going to insert my tailor ham on the sleeve line to make where i want to put the stone to make it flat so i want to to clear the place so I want to prepare the place so this is the stone I've uh, cut it into smaller pieces so I'm just going to take the paper off this way so in the stone in the goodness I'm going to place it so I want to place my own this way so whichever you how you want to place your own, you place it accordingly. You want to place it like so. So after that, I'm just going to place the steam iron on it and apply steam. Apply steam. Wait for it for like uh, a minute or so, or like two place it this way then you place it the other way around this way so if the fabric you are stoning is not heat friendly you can use a paper towel yeah you have it you can use a paper towel you just place the paper towel just to protect the fabric not the stone because the stone um, nylon need heat for it to be transferred so but if you are using um, fabric that is not uh, heat friendly you protect the fabric by placing a paper towel after you have placed the uh, paper stone after you have placed it on the fabric you place a paper towel on it before you place your uh, steam iron so that your fabric will not wrinkle or get burnt. So that is the method we use if uh, you are using fabric that is not uh, heat friendly. So now let's see whether our our stone is uh, nicely transferred to the Ankara. So we are going to take this off. So there are still some left on the nylon. So I'm still going to place my uh, steam iron on it for it to be properly uh, transferred. So um, it's time to lift it up 
I'm going to lift it up. So let's see um, how is the stone. So I'm going to take off the, you can see, it's transfer. You can see, it's transfer to the Ankara. Now I'm going to trash it. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to move the, the tailor ham. I'm going to move it to another space. I'm going to take another piece. Taking another piece. Take it off and place it like so. So, once again, I'm going to repeat the method. I'm going to place it and apply the stain and leave it for like a minute or so, depends. And you have to refill your water tank for the steam iron often because it's the steam I'm using to stick the gum on the stone to the fabric. So you have to refill your water tank often. So I'm going to place it for some time. If your paper stone is so white, you have to place it in such a way that the heat will cover all the um, the heat will cover all the paper stone so that it can all be transferred into your Ankara fabric. So I'm going to place it where it has not been placed so that it can be properly transferred. So I'm going to leave it for like a minute or so so that it can the gum can stick very well. So after that, so let's see how the stone is now. So it's a ninety percent transfer or ninety nine percent. So after that, you reinforce the stone to the fabric once more by placing your steam iron and make an applying steam you can see how it's turning out you can see how the fabric is shining like a diamond so i'm going to continue on this side and on the other side i'm going to apply all this goodness on so yes i'm done stunning the bubu captain dress See how it's shining like a diamond. This is the lower part. You can see how beautiful it is. So this some um, paper stone make stoning a dress to be easy. So what are the don'ts well, while you are stoning a dress? So what are those few useful tips that can help you to get a perfect stoning? Um, the first one is that you don't expect to transfer 100% of the stone on this uh, paper stone. Um, you expect to transfer like 99% of the stone because some of the stone is even facing upside down. So there are imperfections here and there, you expect that. So the second one is that once you place your um paper stone on your fabric and you place your steam iron on it don't press it this way you just apply the steam on a one um, um one particular area you can apply pressure this way you can apply pressure then if you want to move it from one place to another don't move it this way because um the gum they put on the stone um, by the time you apply heat, the gum is a uh, soft thing. So when you shift your iron, your stone will shift from the pattern that is already designed. So you should avoid shifting, moving the iron to and fro. 
you should just place it on it but you can as exact pressure you can exact pressure on the one particular uh, space then what do I want to bring out again and also want to bring to your notice that we maybe there are different patterns that is made by those who have designed it so you may be looking for a particular pattern but you find it difficult to find so out of the pattern you have you can recreate a pattern for yourself like look at this one if you are looking for a smaller pattern you can cut this small 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 pattern out you can cut it out and stone accordingly doesn't necessarily mean that you should be looking for uh, a small pattern you will look at this one too it's a circle you can cut it let me show you just fine i don't want this video to be too long so you can look at you can see it now it's a circle this circle you can you can cut it into two you can cut it into two this look you look at it and stone it this is what i did here you can see how beautiful it's looking you can see so you can modify uh, the paper stone you can further cut it into four and place it and design a neckline you can see how it is so you can just manipulate uh, your your stoning then another thing i want to let you know is that when you want to stone you don't um like front and back pattern is together you don't let it stick together because by the time you stone the gum is going to affect the back pattern and by the time you are trying to remove it from the back pattern it reduce the 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 stickiness of the of your stone to your fabric and your stone will not uh, last long it will, it will fall off and another thing i want to mention is that after uh, stoning your fabric allow your fabric to dry before you fold so that the gum can stick perfectly so i also want to mention that before you stone you make sure that uh, you place your palm in between your your fabric and you make sure that your fabric is very smooth it's very smooth it's not wrinkled because if it is wrinkled all the stone will not be transferred properly and another thing is that um, why you need heat for the for the paper stone to transfer into your fabric you don't need extreme heat because ex extreme heat burn your uh, fabric and also if you are dealing with a fabric that is not heat friendly please use paper towel accordingly because it can make your fabric to get a bones and um, again um, yes so you have to just uh, study your fabric to, to evaluate your fabric to know how the fabric behaves to know what metal you are going to use to form your fabric and you don't have to be looking for design everywhere you can recreate your design from the one you got and uh, manipulate accordingly so this is what i got for you viewers i hope you find one benefit or the other so thank you for watching um i'm going to put the um the the link to the video for this uh tailor ham in the uh comment box so that you can miss your tailor ham because it's so useful in tailoring and i'm also going to put uh, a link to how i made this butterfly bubble in the comment box below so that if you want to make yours you can make yours it's so simple to make so thank you for watching and thank you for uh sticking by me i thank you uh my new subscriber i'm so grateful um, um i thank my old subscriber too who have stick by me uh, please i appreciate you i continue to upload the video so that uh, you will derive one benefit or the other so thank you for watching today's video so see you in my next video bye stay safe and take care